Well, it's been feeling nice out there. One of the reasons is because our humidity levels went down a touch after the weekend. So today, felt pretty pleasant. In fact, our dew points were sitting in the 50s. So the lower that number is, the better it feels outside. It's a measure of moisture in the air. Uh, we're going to be cranking that up just a bit, though, by the time we get toward Wednesday, Thursday, and especially the weekend. So feeling more like summer as we unofficially usher in summer for Memorial Day. So first alert radar, all clear right now. Some storms that have been active across parts of Nebraska, the Dakotas, that's going to be a area to watch for severe weather tomorrow but in the next 24 hours we're not looking at any strong storms in fact we've got a very nice stretch the next several days as the kids are wrapping up school in greenville county temperatures in the 60s to start your day so maybe long sleeves first thing but it's going to warm up really quickly 73 by 10 a.m and then into the afternoon hours highs will be making it into the 80s many neighborhood pools are opening up uh, this should be pretty good weather for it i know the water still a little cool, but um, at least highs will be warm enough to enjoy the pool if that's something you want to do with the kiddos. Highs will make it to around 84 in Greenville, 85 for Anderson, 82 in Asheville with mostly sunny skies and no pop-up storms to worry about. But that's going to be our next big thing. We're tracking rain closer to the weekend. And I have it in our long range mode right now because we still haven't gotten that high resolution data in on the weekend. We're a few days out, but here's what it's looking at. Like right now, we're going to have a few spotty showers in the mountains on Thursday evening. Upstate stays dry though. So we're going to wait in the upstate to get any rain until Friday. And a lot of that moisture is going to begin to sink to the south. Still Still won't be everywhere, but we're going to have late day storms developing on Friday into Friday evening with this activity. And then notice the time we go into Saturday into the afternoon. There'll be another chance for late day showers and storms, but it thins out a bit in our areas. A lot of the energy transitions eastward, so there'll be a better chance along coastal areas uh, on Saturday uh, per some of the latest data we're getting in. We're going to be tracking this front just to let you know how quickly it moves through and maybe it'll free up Sunday into Monday to be a little bit drier. So there are a lot of things that could change with the forecast, so a reason to stay up to date, stay posted, especially if you are heading to the coast. We'll keep you posted on that coastline forecast. Right now, Friday looks like the drier day at the coast, but Saturday, Sunday looks a bit stormier. So we'll be watching this for you right now. I'm highlighting Friday with that 50% chance of rain, lowering those chances a bit for Saturday. Uh, but then it looks like as the front may stall out across our area, we could end up with those rain chances lingering Sunday into Memorial Day. But a lot could still change with that and we'll let you know as we track that front. Uh, in the mountains, we've got mostly sunny weather for the short term, and then we ramp up those afternoon storm chances starting on Friday and into the weekend. So be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app, scan the code on your screen, get the app for free, and that way we can better serve you by sending you updates straight to your phone when it comes to when we get new data in and say something changes about the forecast, we can send you a video alert right to your phone so you'll know exactly what to expect this weekend.